Welcome to Urban Geo Hub. Today we delve into a critical topic that is affecting many across the globe. Long COVID. This persistent condition continues to perplex scientists and researchers four years into the COVID-19 pandemic. Nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 have experienced symptoms of long COVID. These symptoms can range from fatigue and brain fog to more severe complications, such as heart palpitations and loss of smell or taste. But did you know that the prevalence of long COVID is not evenly distributed? Some states are seeing a higher rate of this persistent illness than others. This brings us to an interesting question. Have you or anyone you know experienced the lingering effects of COVID-19, also known as long COVID? Understanding this condition and its geographical prevalence is key in addressing its impact and finding effective treatments. Join us as we explore the top five states in the U.S. experiencing high prevalence of long COVID. Before we delve into the specifics of long COVID in North Dakota, let's take a moment to appreciate the unique beauty of this state. North Dakota, the Peace Garden State, is known for its stunning landscapes and historic landmarks. As we discuss the challenges this state is facing, it's important to remember the resilience and spirit of its people embodied in the very land they inhabit. We begin our virtual tour with the breathtaking Theodore Roosevelt National Park, which showcases the rugged beauty of the North Dakota Badlands. The park is home to a variety of wildlife, including bison, elk, and prairie dogs, and offers a serene backdrop to our discussion. Next, we move on to the towering North Dakota State Capitol, a symbol of the state's enduring strength and unity. Located in the capital city of Bismarck, this 21-story building, known as the Skyscraper on the Prairie, stands as a testament to North Dakota's commitment to progress and innovation. Finally, we take a glimpse at the historic fort Abraham Lincoln State Park, a cultural treasure that offers insights into the state's rich history. Here, you can find reconstructed military and Native American buildings from the late 1800s, providing a tangible link to North Dakota's past. As we journey through these landmarks, let's remember the people of North Dakota, their resilience, and their ongoing fight against long COVID. Now, let's delve into the specifics of how this state is tackling the challenges posed by this persistent illness. To better understand our discussion, it is crucial to know what long COVID is. Long COVID, as it's become known, is a condition where individuals continue to experience symptoms or develop new ones months after their initial recovery from the COVID-19 virus. The medical community is actively investigating the causes and developing treatments for this condition four years after the emergence of the pandemic. The symptoms of long COVID are diverse and can range from mild to severe. According to a study funded by the National Institutes of Health, distinctive symptoms include fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, gastrointestinal issues, heart palpitations, and loss of smell or taste. It's important to remember, however, that these symptoms can change over time and vary from person to person. Nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 have experienced these long COVID symptoms. Certain groups have shown a higher prevalence of long COVID, including women, older adults, individuals with underlying health conditions, and those who had severe initial symptoms of the virus. Interestingly, those who have not been vaccinated against COVID-19 also show a higher prevalence of long COVID. This underscores the importance of vaccination, not just in preventing the spread of the virus, but also 
in reducing the severity of illness and the risk of long COVID. Long COVID can significantly impact people's health and quality of life. It can affect their ability to work, socialize, and perform daily activities. Moreover, it places an additional burden on healthcare systems already strained by the pandemic. The prevalence of long COVID varies across states and territories, which emphasizes the need for ongoing surveillance and state-specific data to inform public health policies and interventions. With this understanding, let's examine the states with the highest cases of long COVID. As we embark on this journey exploring long COVID across different states, let's take a moment to appreciate the natural beauty of Arkansas, our next destination on the list. Known as the natural state, Arkansas is a gem of the South, endowed with diverse landscapes that appeal to nature. Lovers and adventurers alike. Picture this. The sun is setting over the Ozark Mountains, casting a warm golden hue over the verdant hills and valleys. The Ozarks, with their rugged beauty and unspoiled wilderness, provide a serene backdrop to the lives of Arkansans. Our journey takes us next to the calm, sparkling waters of Lake Oachita, the largest lake located entirely within Arkansas. It's a haven for boating, fishing, and camping enthusiasts. We then move to the magnificent Hot Springs National Park, a unique blend of urban and natural landscapes. The park's thermal waters have been a source of comfort and healing for centuries. And finally, imagine strolling through the charming streets of Little Rock, the state's capital, with its vibrant arts scene and rich history. Yes, Arkansas is indeed a place of stunning natural beauty and cultural richness. But like many other states, it's also grappling with the invisible threat of long COVID. As we admire the state's landscapes, let's not forget the individuals and communities behind these beautiful scenes, many of whom are living with and battling long COVID. In the next scene, we will delve deeper into the impact of long COVID in Arkansas. Starting our countdown at number five is North Dakota. In the Peace Garden State, the battle with COVID-19 continues, specifically in the form of long COVID, which is now a prominent health concern. Long COVID is not just about the numbers. It's about the lives and communities that are affected. It's about the mother who now struggles with chronic fatigue, the farmer who battles daily with the loss of taste or smell, or the school teacher who finds it difficult to concentrate due to the infamous brain fog. These are real stories, real faces, of long COVID in North Dakota, echoing the need for ongoing research and support. In North Dakota, the prevalence of long COVID has been significant. Nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 have experienced long COVID symptoms. This is concerning, especially considering the state's smaller population. The impact of long COVID in North Dakota is not just a health issue, it's a societal issue, affecting families, workplaces, and communities at large. Among those hit hardest are individuals who had severe initial COVID-19 symptoms, older adults, those with underlying health conditions, and sadly, those who remain unvaccinated. This highlights the critical need for vaccination and booster shots, which have been proven to reduce the severity of illness and risk of long COVID. A study funded by the National Institutes of Health identified distinctive long COVID symptoms, including fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, gastrointestinal issues, heart palpitations, and loss of smell or taste. 
these symptoms are not just inconvenient, they're life-altering, and many North Dakotans are living with them every day. The situation in North Dakota underscores the urgent need for ongoing surveillance and public health interventions. The state's struggle with long COVID is a call to action for everyone to take this issue seriously, to get vaccinated, and to support those living with the condition. It's not just about getting back to normal. It's about creating a new normal, where long COVID is acknowledged, understood, and effectively managed. The situation in North Dakota underscores the urgent need for ongoing surveillance and public health interventions. Before we dive into the next part of our countdown, let's take a restful detour through the heart of Dixie, Alabama. This southern state is known for its rich history, cultural diversity, and vibrant landscapes. From the rolling Appalachian Mountains in the north, to the sugar white beaches of the Gulf Coast, Alabama is a state of contrasts and beauty. As our virtual journey begins, we find ourselves in the charming city of Birmingham, where history and modernity collide. The city skyline, dominated by the towering Vulcan statue, is a testament to Alabama's industrial heritage. From here, we move to the tranquil countryside of the Black Belt region, named for its rich, dark soil. This land is a patchwork of farms, forests, and meandering rivers that tell a story of the state's agricultural roots. Next, we travel south to the Gulf Coast, where Alabama's natural beauty truly shines. Here, the warm Gulf waters lap against miles of pristine beaches, creating a paradise for both residents and visitors. And let's not forget the majestic Mobile Delta, a wetland area of unparalleled biological diversity. This journey through Alabama is a reminder of the importance of preserving these natural treasures, not just for us, but for future generations. As we appreciate the scenic charm of Alabama, it's a fitting prelude to our next segment, where we will delve into the impact of long COVID in this beautiful state. But for now, let's bask in the tranquility and the natural beauty of Alabama, a state that truly has something for everyone. Coming in at number four is Arkansas. In this southern state, the prevalence of long COVID is a growing concern. According to research, nearly one in four adults who battled COVID-19 in Arkansas are now experiencing lingering symptoms. This condition, known as long COVID, is characterized by a range of symptoms, including fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, gastrointestinal issues, heart palpitations, and loss of smell or taste. The impact on the local community in Arkansas is significant. People who were once active and healthy are now struggling with daily tasks due to the persistent symptoms of long COVID. It's a reminder that even though the initial wave of the pandemic may be behind us, the long-term effects continue to reverberate through communities. Arkansas, like many states, has seen a higher prevalence of long COVID among certain groups. This includes those who had severe initial symptoms, women, older adults, individuals with underlying health conditions, and those who were unvaccinated at the time of their COVID-19 infection. This underscores the importance of COVID-19 vaccination, not just in preventing the initial illness, but also in reducing the risk of long-term complications the data also shows a concerning trend. A large proportion of the population has not received their booster shots. This is leading to decreased immunity over time and potentially increasing the risk of long COVID. 
It's a crucial reminder of the importance of staying up to date with vaccinations. Researchers are actively investigating the causes of long COVID and developing treatments. It's a race against time as the number of people affected continues to grow. The National Institutes of Health has funded studies to identify distinctive long COVID symptoms, a step that could lead to more effective treatments and strategies to manage this condition. As we continue to see, long COVID remains a significant health issue that demands attention and action. The battle against COVID-19 isn't over yet, and it's crucial that we continue to support research, promote vaccination, and provide care for those living with long COVID. The story of Arkansas is a reminder of the ongoing challenges we face in this pandemic era. As we journey from Alabama, we find ourselves in the breathtaking expanses of our next destination, Montana. Known as the Treasure State, Montana lives up to its name with a wealth of natural beauty. From the mesmerizing Rocky Mountains to the expansive Great Plains, Montana offers a diverse landscape that is as vast as it is awe-inspiring. As our camera sweeps over Glacier National Park, you'll see why this place is often referred to as the crown of the continent. The park's rugged peaks, clear waters, and abundant wildlife make it a must-visit destination for nature lovers. Next, we take you to the iconic Yellowstone National Park with its geysers, hot springs, and a variety of wildlife. Yellowstone is a testament to the raw and untamed beauty that Montana holds. As we move further, the camera captures the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument, a site that whispers tales of the past, reminding us of the rich history that has shaped this land. And finally, we arrive at the Flathead Lake. As the largest natural freshwater lake in the western United States, its azure waters reflect the stunning beauty of the Big Sky Country. From its snow-capped peaks to its rolling plains, Montana is a state of stunning natural beauty and grandeur. As we soak in the tranquil beauty of Montana, it's a poignant reminder of the country's diverse landscapes waiting to be explored. And while the natural beauty of Montana takes our breath away, the state, too, has its share of challenges with long COVID, a reality we will delve into in our next segment. At number three, we have Alabama. In the heart of the South, Alabama is grappling with the effects of long COVID. This ongoing battle with the pandemic's lasting repercussions is felt deeply in communities throughout the state. Long COVID is not a distant concern in Alabama, but a very present reality. Researchers found that nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 experienced long COVID symptoms. These symptoms manifest in various forms, such as fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, gastrointestinal issues, heart palpitations, and loss of smell or taste. These are not fleeting inconveniences, but debilitating conditions that significantly affect people's daily lives. In Alabama, the prevalence of long COVID is particularly apparent among certain demographics. Those with severe initial symptoms, women, older adults, individuals with underlying health conditions, and unvaccinated individuals are experiencing higher rates of long COVID symptoms. This not only underscores the importance of vaccination and booster shots, but also sheds light on the need for targeted healthcare resources and support for these vulnerable groups. Furthermore, the impact of long COVID in Alabama extends beyond health. It influences the state's economy, education, and overall quality of life. The prolonged illness can lead to job loss, hinder children's learning, and strain healthcare systems. 
it's a ripple effect that touches every corner of the state. There is a silver lining, though. The current COVID-19 vaccine reduces the severity of illness and risk of long COVID. However, only 17% of the U.S. population has received an updated booster shot. This calls for a renewed push for vaccination in Alabama and across the country. The data from Alabama further emphasizes the widespread impact of long COVID. It serves as a stark reminder of the pandemic's long shadow and the urgent need for continued vigilance, research, and care. Hey, before we delve into the state most affected by long COVID, let's take a scenic detour and breathe in the unspoiled splendor of Oklahoma. Known as the Sooner State, Oklahoma is an alluring mix of breathtaking landscapes and historical landmarks. We begin our journey at the iconic Route 66, a historic highway offering a nostalgic journey through the heart of Oklahoma. As we cruise along, we pass vintage diners, restored gas stations, and vibrant murals that paint a picture of the state's rich history. Next, we journey to the Wichita Mountains, wildlife refuge. This expansive refuge is home to free-ranging buffalo, Texas longhorn cattle, prairie dogs, and majestic elk. The rugged beauty of the Wichita Mountains, blanketed in wildflowers and dotted with serene lakes, is a sight to behold. From the rugged mountains, we transition to the serene beauty of the tall grass, prairie preserve. As the largest protected area of tall grass prairie on earth, this preserve offers a glimpse into the state's unique ecosystem. As the wind ruffles the tall grass, it's a mesmerizing spectacle of nature's artistry. Finally, we arrive in Oklahoma City, where the Oklahoma City National Memorial stands as a poignant reminder of the tragic bombing in 1995. The memorial's reflective pool and empty chairs symbolize the lives lost, offering a space for reflection and remembrance amidst the bustling city. From the open road of Route 66 to the tranquility of the tall grass prairie preserve, Oklahoma is a state that wears its history and natural beauty with pride. But, as we'll soon discover, it's also a state that's been deeply affected by the ongoing pandemic. Coming in at the second spot is Montana. This state, known for its vast open landscapes, has unfortunately also become known for its high prevalence of long COVID. It's a situation that has had a profound impact on the local community, as nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 have experienced lingering symptoms. A statistic that mirrors the national trend. In Montana, the demographic most affected by long COVID seems to be those with severe initial symptoms, women, older adults, individuals with underlying health conditions, and unvaccinated individuals. It's a mix that clearly underlines the indiscriminate nature of this condition and the wide-ranging impact it is having on Montana's residents. The symptoms experienced by those living with long COVID in Montana are varied and include fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, gastrointestinal issues, heart palpitations, and loss of smell or taste. These symptoms are not just fleeting. They are persistent, and they can have a significant impact on a person's quality of life. Researchers in Montana and beyond are actively investigating the causes of long COVID and developing treatments. As we move into the fourth year after the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, these efforts remain as critical as ever. The situation in Montana also highlights the importance of vaccination and booster shots in managing the spread and impact of COVID-19. With only 17% of the U.S. population having received an updated booster shot, 
it's clear that more needs to be done to protect individuals and communities. Montana's high prevalence of long COVID underscores the importance of vaccination and booster shots. And the state with the highest prevalence of long COVID is Oklahoma. In this southern U.S. state, nearly one in four adults who contracted COVID-19 experienced the persistent, lingering symptoms that characterize long COVID. This prevalence has significant implications for the state's community. It's not just about managing the symptoms, which include fatigue, brain fog, and loss of smell or taste. It's also about the wider impacts. The workforce is affected, with people unable to return to work. Families are impacted, with loved ones suffering. And the healthcare system is under strain, with resources needed to support those dealing with these long-term effects. Research funded by the National Institutes of Health has been instrumental in identifying these distinctive symptoms and informing the public health response. But the situation in Oklahoma also highlights the importance of preventative measures. Boosters are crucial as they reduce the severity of illness and risk of long COVID, yet only 17% of the U.S. population has received an updated booster shot. Oklahoma's situation is a stark reminder of the continued fight against COVID-19 and its lingering effects. As we've seen, long COVID is a significant concern across the U.S., with states like Oklahoma, Montana, Alabama, Arkansas, and North Dakota leading in prevalence. This issue is far-reaching, affecting nearly one in four adults who've contracted COVID-19. It's not a condition to take lightly, with symptoms ranging from fatigue to heart palpitations, and it's more prevalent amongst those with severe initial symptoms, women, older adults, and unvaccinated individuals. The importance of understanding long COVID and its implications cannot be overstated. It's a stark reminder of the crucial role vaccinations play in reducing the severity of illness and the risk of developing long COVID. Equally important is the need for robust public health interventions designed to address this critical health issue and promote health equity. As we continue to navigate these challenging times, staying informed is our strongest weapon. Let's take this knowledge and use it to protect ourselves and our communities. We hope you found this information valuable. Please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to Urban Geo Hub for more insightful discussions.